Bird Girls. I kind of have the camera turned funny. I don't know if you can see the sunrise coming up. The sky is just beautiful. I've been watching the hot pink kind of slowly creep up the horizon. Um, I just love the morning time when it's so quiet. I just wanted to come on here and um, point out a post that I posted yesterday in case you hadn't read it yet. It's about being hungry. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, I noticed that it got lots of views and only a couple of likes. And I wonder if it's kind of a hard word, but not all the posts get likes, so it's not a big deal. But anyway, I just wanted to encourage you to read it. You know, I know so many of us struggle with the same things. And this post was about being hungry and creating a hunger for God. And if we're filled up, how we can't... Um, you know, we don't have that hunger for him and, and the certain things that we can fill up with. And I think of, um, I work with a lot of ladies with nutrition and, you know, I'll hear so many times, oh, I just can't get all my protein in. And you can if you cut out the other stuff, okay? And it's like, it's kind of like my thing. My kids know it. My friends know it. I'm a big protein person because um, I know women don't get enough protein as a rule. But anyway, when you're having problems eating what's nutritious and what's good for you, if you know you need to eat X amount of grams of protein, but you're eating um, other stuff, you know, fats and vegetables and even carbs, if you eat carbs, you know, and you don't have room for protein, the answer is not throw your hands up and like, I just, I'm not hungry for protein. The answer is to stop eating the other stuff so you have room for the protein. Put the priority in first. And, um, and it's kind of like that with God and our hunger for him. Ladies, if we're not hungering for his word, if we're not craving for him, if we don't delight in him and want to spend time with him, it's because we're filled up with something else. It, it really is just that simple. You know, we think, oh, you know, we, we kind of beat up on ourselves for not having this great desire, or we feel like God is so far away, when the simple answer could be we're so full, we're so stuffed with the things of this world and the things that we spend our time on and give our attention to and our heart to. And so I challenge you to get before God. It's different for all of us. It's totally different. What I say I struggle with or give my time and attention and um, fill up with could be totally different than what you do. But that's why we have the Holy Spirit, ladies. I promise you, if you just humble yourself before him and say, Lord, I'm not hungry for you. I don't know what it is. I'm, I'm just being honest here. I don't hunger for your word. I don't hunger to worship. I don't hunger to spend time with you. I don't hunger to pray. Lord, make me hungry. Show me. Show me what I'm filling up with. I promise you he will. Okay? So read the article about being hungry or my post if you haven't read it yet. And... um. Let's just keep going with him, ladies. All right, can you see the sunrise happening out there? That's for you, ladies. All right, have a great day.